How's it going folks with a stash here? This is for all you aquatic athletes out there, all you people hanging out in the water, getting those hands up overhead. Here's what you need to think about. You need to think about how to connect your body better from top to bottom. I've seen a huge disconnect in people's ability to engage that opposite shoulder to that opposite glute. So that line is what's gonna help you to be here, be more comfortable, be able to be strong when you come through it and connect as you pull through that water. So this drill is going to work on strengthening your shoulders, making them more stable. It's gonna activate your lower core, gluing your body together. And it's also gonna work on teaching you how it's going to pretty much automatically correct your hip alignment. So to help your leg bones to stay properly in that joint. The more connected to those things get, the better off you're gonna feel. So check it out. We're gonna start off from here with a stick overhead, or over our chest. Part one is gonna be tucking those hips. So you're gonna take your pelvis, you're gonna posteriorly tilt it, or use your lower abs and tuck your pelvis down so that your lower back is pressing in the floor. If I poke down here my belly button, it's nice and hard. That's part one. Part number two, we're gonna think about taking these shoulders, pulling them back and down. I don't want my shoulders crawling up here towards my ear like my traps work. I want to think about those shoulders pulling back and down away from my ears. But wait, as soon as I do that, this thing comes up. That's a problem. So I'm going to lock those shoulders in place, pull my rib cage down, tuck those hips, and all these things are locked together. Now, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that your stick has a spring in the middle of it, and you're going to rip that, you're going to try to stretch that spring. This stick actually does stretch itself, it can turn it and put some tension in it, so I'm going to use this thing here today. So, shoulders are back and down. Ribs are down, back is flat. I'm gonna put tension across the stick. I'm trying to rip the stick in half. Arms gotta stay straight. If arms are bending, you're gonna be using your bicep, which I don't want. I want you to think about using these muscles on your back. Uh, think like your shoulder blades are squeezing together. So, shoulders back down, hips are tucked forward. I'm gonna take my stick here, I'm gonna put tension on it, pulling that thing apart. Now, while maintaining this tension with straight arms, I'm gonna bring these legs in the air. You're gonna take a deep breath in, you're gonna slowly reach back, and you're gonna get stuck somewhere around here. When you get stuck here, that means that your shoulders are maximally working. You need to keep the pressure against your shoulder blade. I don't want everything to open up and come down to the floor. I want you to maintain the tension. So tuck, pull apart, take a deep breath in, think about your ribs, laterally expand as you take that breath. You need to breathe out. As you're pulling back, you need to hold there. Take a deep breath in. Keep the tendon, keep the tension, and then you'll relax. And then repeat that over and over again. So again, shoulders back and down, back is flat. Tension against the stick, ripping it apart. Full and complete breath in. Slowly reach back without letting the pressure come off the shoulder blades. You gotta be pushing the floor the whole time. Take a full breath in there. And then full breath out at the bottom. So, this looks like not very much going on, but there's a ton of things going on. So, it's a lot of little pieces that you'll slowly get all together. The biggest point is this. I would say most of you are not gonna be having your hands touching the floor as you do this. Pretty much probably nobody, really, if you do it right. Your shoulders need to pull back and down like this, so that lat is working. When you're coming back, you'll be limited by your lat length. So, I wanna keep pressure underneath that shoulder the entire time. So as I reach that arm back, I gotta feel like I'm pushing that thing down into the ground along with the lower core the entire time. So again, that's a great way to straighten the shoulders, get the core working, and connect that body top to bottom. This will make you feel totally connected in the water, it'll help your hip alignment, and it'll make you that much more powerful every stroke you take. Enjoy.